In problem number 27 of section 2.1, we're asked to compute the sum from k equals 1 to 100 of 1 over k times k plus 1. Um, looks extremely difficult uh, unless we kind of simplify somehow the uh, function that we're summing. Uh, this looks uh, to be just perfect for partial fractions. Uh, so let's compute the partial fraction decomposition. Uh, so say this is equal to a over k plus b over k plus 1. Uh, then well, this means that um, 1 will be equal to a times k plus 1 which by cross multiplying and cross multiplying again uh, we get a plus b, uh, b x, uh, k, not x. So uh, this is equal to a plus b times k uh, plus a. And we know that there's no k term on the left-hand side, so a plus b must equal 0, or equivalently, a equals minus b. And the constant term uh, must be equal to 1, so must have that a is equal to 1, which implies that b is equal to minus 1. Uh, so that means that this is equal to 1 over k minus 1 over k plus 1. So rather than summing the um, 1 over k times k plus 1, we can substitute the uh, partial fraction decomposition. And now it's important to see that this is actually a telescoping sum. So if we start out, say, with k equals 1, then we'll have 1 minus 1 half. Then we'll move to k equals 2, so we'll add we'll have minus 1 half, and then we'll add 1 half, and we'll cancel out, and we'll get minus 1 third, and we'll get plus 1 third, and so on, all the way until, uh, uh, until we get the final, um, final term, which will be minus 1 over 101. So in other words, you know, we'll end up with something like this. Uh, so we'll go all the way up to 1 over 100 minus 1 over 100. Uh, wait, hang on. Or minus 1 over 100 and 1. Of course, all the terms here will cancel out. Um, except for 1 and minus 1 over 101. Uh, so this is 101 minus 1 over 101, which is 100 over 101.